What's up guys? Gamebuster News here, and I have uh, made this video because I said I was going to cover Gamescom, and I that is what I am going to do. So, yeah. So, basically, the first and the most important news, PS4 is going to be released on November 15th in North America, and November 29th in Europe. That is kind of expected it when I w thought it was going to be released. At first I thought it was going to be November 29th, but I was thinking uh, they're going to release it sometime in the holiday. So, yeah. Um, also, some exciting other news from the press conference. Minecraft's going to launch with uh, PS4, which nobody expected that to happen, because apparently, apparently Mojang was in that exclusive deal with them, so yeah. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to go over. Um, there's a lot of indie titles announced. There was... Borderlands 2 for the Vita, which I don't think anybody cares about. <laughs> uh, they are going to drop the price bone for the PS3, which is to $199, which I've been wanting a PS3 for a while, and maybe this is my time to get it. See what I missed out this generation before the next one starts. And also, PS Vita is also going to get getting a price drop to $199, probably because of that remote play thing, and everybody's complaining how it's too expensive, and that's that's a good thing. Also, what what else is there? Um, I think that's what, pretty much all the most important stuff in there. Oh, Little Big Planet Hub is coming to PS3. It's gonna be free for any of you PS3 users out there, and will launch later this year. I can't I can't remember. I don't know if they said specifically when it's gonna be released, but I know it's later this year. Um, also some interesting games that, uh, Return to Rapture game, as it gets what it's called, it looked, it looked interesting. Um, I don't really know what it's about, but some, something like a future type thing, or something. And apparently it's from this developer who's been really quiet for, for a while, and that's, that is gonna be a, an exciting time. So, yeah. Hopefully I get my PS4 at launch, which I think they did that just to get <laughs> some, get the pre-orders, um, coming out, because more pre-orders produced, I think they'll start producing in, like, late October, so they can get all of those pre-orders out to people. And, and they've, and they've said they've got a million pre-orders for the PS4, so that's amazing. Around the world, not in a more specific country, all around the world, one million pre-orders. <laughs> So, yeah, let me know what you think about the conference in the comments below. Did you think, did you not like the release date? Did you think that they made the right choice doing it, releasing it a week before Black Friday? Or are they kind of shooting themselves in the foot with this? So, yeah. Uh, this has been Kingdom Hearts 3 News, your one place for Kingdom Hearts 3 News. And I will see you guys later. Alright, bye.